Hi, I'm Scott with Consolidated Sterilizer Systems. Let's talk about the different options of materials available for an autoclave. This can be a confusing topic, but I'll break it down for you here. First off, it's important to understand that our sterilization vessels are double-walled and comprised of both an inner chamber and an outer jacket. Different material options are available for both the chamber and the jacket, and Consolidated is the only manufacturer to offer three different material configurations, depending on your application. The first configuration is our standard, most common and most cost-effective construction that is suitable for the vast majority of our clients. It consists of a 316L stainless steel inner chamber, a carbon steel jacket, and brass, bronze, and copper plumbing. The second configuration is ideal for labs performing tissue culture work, or who have a product that's highly sensitive to mineral content, or who are utilizing distilled or deionized water to feed the sterilizer or boiler. This construction uses 316L stainless steel for the chamber, jacket, and plumbing. The third configuration is unique to consolidated and is ideal for marine biologists who sterilize seawater or facilities with high chloride content in their water. This configuration uses nickel clad steel for the inner chamber, which has high corrosion resistance to chlorides, and carbon steel for the jacket, as well as copper, brass, and bronze plumbing. All 316L stainless steel chambers undergo passivation as standard, which increases resistance to corrosion. Nickel clad chambers are polished, but do not require passivation. Thanks, and reach out if you have any questions or comments.